Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Test Automation TTA Training Sessions. So as you all know, I've already published two YouTube videos covering the topics like introduction to this new cloud-based TTA tool. And also I've explained to you about how can we use XCAN to scan all the controls that are required to automate your end-to-end -end test case by using Tricentis Test Automation TTA. Okay, so this is our lesson three where I'm going to teach you how can we use Builder in TTA and how can you assemble your test cases for automating an end-to-end -end test case by using the component called builder in Tricentis test automation tool. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so what is this builder? So by using builder, you can create test automation based on concept called model based testing. So this gives the users the possibility of creating stable test automation using builder that is being provided by TTA. Okay, I'm going to show you how we can work on builder uh, shortly by using uh, the tool. Okay, so let me also show you how to use builder for an existing test case that we created in our earlier session. Okay, and then we are going to open existing test case in the builder and start assembling the test case for stable test case automation. Okay, so the test case builder has two components. Okay, uh, the left pane and right pane. So the right pane contains all the actions that are required to automate or to test the application. And the left pane contains scan modules and predefined actions. On the slide, scan modules so these scan modules, we used this XCAN feature to scan the controls needed for end-to-end -end test case automation. So I have already explained about the scanned modules in my previous session. I would recommend you guys to visit my previous session before you watch this session. Okay. And there is another section called predefined actions. So where you will have a list of steps that can be used to optimize the web automation of the test case. Okay, I'm going to show you predefined actions. What are all the de, uh, different predefined actions available and how can we use them in automating our test cases? So now without delay, let's jump onto the system and let me teach you how can you use the builder to stabilize your test case and to complete your test case automation end to end. So this is my uh, Tricentis test automation cloud-based tool. Okay, I've already explained you how can you subscribe to the trial version of this cloud-based uh, TTA tool and then how can you access your cloud-based tool. Okay, so I would recommend you guys to visit my previous video. So now as we are talking about the builder, right? So how do you navigate to builder there are two ways either directly you can click on builder and navigate to builder or if you want to modify an existing test case then you need to go to the test cases section right so in my previous session i've already explained you about scanning all the controls that are required to automate your application and we created a simple test case correct very simple test case we created okay so let me show you that okay so if you if, let me open this test case so here what we did we simply created a test case name called session 2 builder and we scanned let me show you okay we scanned all the controls that are required to log into the application, right? Email ID, password, remember me, forgot and login. So this is your module. This is what the module is actually. So let me just bring it to the front. So this is the module that we created, webshop login. 
and we just dragged and drop the module here okay this is what your model based if you see on the right side the right side of your builder pane this is builder shows you the steps that need to be performed to test the application correct so what we did we just dragged and dropped all the controls here now let us assemble the test case to perform login function what i want to do is go to this web shop url i want to automate one end to end test case click on login enter your username enter the password click on login and then verify if the user is logged in not or not by the profile name whatever the uh, user id that you logged in right it is displaying on top right corner okay so i'm going to verify if this link has my email id or not and then i'm going to click on log out and then close the browser so that's what i need to do okay so now we already automated all the controls on the login screen correct but in my previous session but this top menu right i have all the top menu controls right so these top menu controls also i have already scanned those controls so that is called this one demo web shop sub menu okay this has all those controls okay and this has all the login related controls okay so now we already dragged the login related controls now let us select the action so email user name correct the email user name you need to enter the value here correct for that what action you need to select you need to select the action as input enter username that you would like to enter okay and then here password again input this is a secret password okay and then remember me i don't want to perform anything forgot password i don't want i want to just click on login so that's why i'm going to leave these as blank i'm not going to take any action and this is login button click left click okay i'm going to perform left click let's save this test case so here what we are doing actually this test case will run if you are already in login screen okay so let's run this test case and see wh whether it's going to work or not okay i clicked on run test case run started so it's not performing any action okay let's see so how can you analyze the results so let's go to runs and see what is happening oh it is running okay see it's entered the username it's clicked on login so that means our test case run see here it is success succeeded if i go to session 3 builder and click here and see all the logs we can see here okay so let me show those logs again later okay now let's go back to again the test cases let's go to our existing test case so now it is entering the values but i'm not going to stay on this particular login screen every time right i want to automate this from end to end first enter this url right so if you see under builder left pane okay i already explained about right pane right pane contains all the test steps that need to be performed to test your application what does this left pane contains the left pane contains scan modules and brief defined actions these are two important components what does this scan modules the scan modules for this scan modules we use the feature called xscan to scan our controls right by using xscan okay 
we scanned all the controls that are required for an application to be automated. So that we already scanned. What is this predefined actions? The predefined actions are, these are the actions that are predefined and which we can be used to stabilize or to fasten the test case automation. For example, open URL. This open URL action is to open any required URL. An example, another example, wait. Wait function will be used to wait for a particular amount of time, right? And then windows maximize, windows minimize. This is used to maximize the window and minimize the window and close the window, right? And also wait until closed. That means the tool will wait until corresponding window is closed. Wait until open. The tool will wait until the window is open, right? So now, as I told you, I want to open the URL, this URL, copy this. So let me just, because the open URL is a predefined action, I need not to create a new module again. So let's say, just type URL, see, open URL is there. Drag and drop here. Before I go to login, first I want to open the URL. What is the URL? So this is my URL, save this, okay? So this will open the URL. As soon as I open the URL, I need to click on login. Then only this login screen will be visible. So to perform click on login, I need to go to my scanned modules. If you see on the scanned modules, I already scanned all the web shop submenu. Let me show this scanned modules, okay? Let's click here, click on edit properties. If you see, I have all the top menu, right? I have uh, the email ID, register, login link, logout link and everything, okay? So now let's again go back to test case. So here, once I open the URL, I need to click on login link. For that, I need to drag and drop my sub menu and here i want to click on login for that here this is my login link click left click save it so once i click on login then of course you will be entering your email and password that we already automated scroll down so this is already done after this you need to click on logout see <clears throat> So after this, you need to click on logout. Again, I need to drag and drop my sub menu here. Drag and drop my sub menu. And here, you need to click on logout. So logout, click, left click. That's it. And save this test case. Okay, so once we click on logout, you need to close the browser, correct? So for that again, let's go here. You will, you might have some predefined action, right? Close, see, close browser. Drag this and drop here. It's going to close your tab. Okay, so let's title this demo star okay and save this so now let's run this test case and see how it works okay what we did actually see as i told you in the builder you can assemble your entire test case by using model based method okay where you can see all the ui here okay what we did, we simply used scanned modules and predefined actions to automate 
our end-to-end -end test case, right? First, we used open URL, dragged and drop predefined action, and then we dragged and drop login, and we entered all our required steps here, right? And then all the required, sorry, we dragged and dropped submenu and click on login. And then we dragged and dropped this login and we entered username, password, click on login. And again, we dragged and dropped our submenu and where you are clicking on logout. And then we are closing the browser. So let's run this, okay? Run this privately. So before I run, I want to make sure I did not open the browser, okay? Run privately. See, test case run started. Now it needs to click on login. See, it is clicking on login. Now it enters username, password and it is clicking on login. And now it should click on logout. See, it's clicked on logout and close the browser. So let's go to runs now to see still running. So basically it's collecting the information, entire information. Let's go back to builder again. Sorry, let's go to runs here again. See, this is now succeeded. This is success. Go to builder here. If you want to see the logs here, you can see the logs. See, open URL succeeded. Login succeeded. Email username entered successfully. Password entered successfully. Right? Click on login successfully. Close the browser and everything. What is the duration? 23 seconds. You can see the recording also. If you go here, oh, the recording should be there actually. If it is a failure, then it's going to record. If there is any failure, it's going to record. Okay? Let's, I think, yeah. So basically what we did, let's go back to our test cases again and see our entire test case view. See, this is our entire test case that we automated. So in my next session, I'm going to cover some other topics like verifying the... So because in the automation, we just automated end-to-end -end flow, but we have not performed any verification, right? So now, how can you perform verification while automating the test cases by using Tricentis Test Automation TTA tool? Okay, that's what I'm going to explain in my next session. If you have any queries, leave your comments in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you.